Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com Metal Casting. In this video, we're going to use green sand or casting sand in order to attempt uh, to cast this brass eagle. Now you're going to need a forge. We have a devil forge, which is a single burner propane forge. Uh, comes from Lithuania. Does a great job from melting all sorts of metal. You also need a crucible, which is the cup, the ceramic cup that's going to hold the material that you're going to melt, and of course the supply of material. Uh, my nephew uh, Dennis Lee had a machine or has a machine shop, and he was kind enough to give me this full five-gallon bucket of brass turnings. So this is the object that we're going to cast. I made a, a very simple single part um, mold out of two by fours. I laid the object on a flat surface. In this case, it happens to be a metal table. I coated that brass eagle with baby powder just to make um, it separate from the sand a little bit easier. And then what I'm doing is I'm sprinkling in the green sand or the casting sand. Now this sand I made on a previous video. It's actually uh, a, another DIY project. It's made with uh, play sand or terrarium sand. Uh, in combination with clay uh, kitty litter, uh, both of which are strained or screened uh, to a very fine powder mixed together and uh, moistened with a, a water spray bottle. Uh, but I, I put, I'll put a link to the other video right up on this, on this video. After that first layer of sand is in, I want to pound it down. Um, and it's, it's a fine touch. You want to pound it down with enough pressure so that you get all of the details on the object that you're trying to cast. Um, but you don't want to slam it down so that you destroy that object, especially this, this eagle is, a hollow, um, is hollow, so I could easily crush it if I put too much pressure on it. But you, you definitely want to pound enough so that you get all of the detail. Now, if, if you noticed on uh, the title photo of this video, I also have the words epic fail, and, and you'll see why in a minute. A lot of these uh, DIY projects, they don't really go as planned uh, the first time, especially the first time. Um, this particular casting uh, definitely didn't go as planned. So anyway, I'm going to fill up the mold, and then I'm just going to use a straight edge to kind of scrape away as much of that excess material as possible because this mold is going to get turned over. You want this all to be flat. You don't want any of that sand uh, to be protruding above the level of uh, the 2 by 4s because that's the surface that the whole mold is going to lay on when I turn it over. And When you turn these things over, you're always hoping that all of that sand stays within the mold. Looking good so far. So just very, very carefully. I'm just using my, my fingernails, but you certainly could use a dental tool or a small nail screwdriver to help you lift these items out without damaging uh, any of the sand mold. Now this mold came out pretty good. Just checking it over for the fine details. And at this point, really thought we were on the way uh, to a successful pour. And we've poured brass a couple of times before, never had a problem with it. Uh, this particular batch of brass, um, and I can only blame the material that we had, it didn't really melt. It, it turned into a powder and then it kind of turned into a sludge. Uh, we didn't have any additional or much additional brass in the shop. Um, I added a few pieces that I had. And that seemed to turn it mold uh, pretty quickly, but um, it just didn't seem right. We probably shouldn't have gone ahead with the mold or with the pour. This is my friend Jason uh, Northgard, and he's trying to scrape off some of the what looked like dirt at the top. But as soon as you try to pour it, it actually just turns into spaghetti. It doesn't continue with the pour. So I'm not really sure what happened with this brass. We definitely had it hot enough um, 
according to my nephew, it's definitely brass. Uh, but as soon as you try to pour it, it doesn't okay. stay liquid. It just turned into spaghetti. So that was the epic fail. The eagle did not work at all. Um, for the rest of the night, we converted to pouring uh, lead soldiers. My father had a bunch of these old uh, lead toy soldier molds, uh, and we poured some, some lead into those uh, just so that I could have you know, one of each of these uh, little toy soldiers that my father used to pour. Uh, I will go back and get some additional or some better brass material. I think I'm going to go back to using scrap brass, you know, old brass valves, and, uh, cast bronze items that, that I find that one. around, and, and just revert back to melting those. I have better, to better results yeah. <laughs> using scrap brass. I thank my nephew anyway, but I won't be using any of his machine shop uh, turnings anymore. Yeah, uh, these are the toy soldiers. Yeah. Uh, of course, pouring lead is very, very easy. It melts very quickly. Uh, still a fun night in the shop. I didn't have the success that I wanted to have testing out the sand mold, um, but it was certainly still a fun a fun night in the shop. And bottom line is that that casting sand that I made, uh, the green sand, uh, worked perfectly. I mean, the molds that we created with it would have uh, created some pretty nice results. So. Look forward to a future video. I'm certainly going to come back and do a single part sand casting. I'm also going to do a two part mold where you can cast three dimensional items. And in addition to that, I'd like to delve into some lost wax sand casting. Please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.